welcome to this very simple tutorial of unlimited power. It's not funny, I know, but whatever. Uh, behold, I have the uh, almighty triangle that will help you manipulate formulas if you need to. Um, again, my strongest recommendation is that you learn how to manipulate formulas, right? Teachers don't like this uh, triangle version. I'm not a super fan, but I don't care, so long as it helps you manipulate the correct formula. But this is a simple example of how to calculate power. Now, in terms of electrical power, this is simply defined as, as the rate uh, at which you know electrical energy uh, basically is transferred through a circuit, right? And, and that rate means like a time rating. But in this case, our simple formula is P, uh, P equals I times V. Look at that. I'll, I'll put a box around it. This is the formula that is usually given to you. All right. Now, power is measured in watts. And uh, we still have current, which is I measured in amps, and volts, which is V measured in volts. Now, given the fact that this is the only formula that you're going to be given, you might need to be you might need to know how to calculate the or manipulate the formula to solve for i or solve for v, well, you know, which is simple. Like if we were going to be solving for i, the question would say, well, what's the current? And so we would cover. Look at this. I made this convenient little pink circle. We would cover what we were looking for. If the question is requiring you to solve for I, well, then you cover up the I and you write down what the triangle gives you, P over V. And that's how you use that triangle. Again, just learn how to manipulate formulas. So let's go over a simple example of how to calculate power. Big Bertha was contemplating powerful influences in her life when she noticed that 80 amps of current was flowing through her favorite electrical pepper grinder at 120 volts. What is the power rating of the pepper grinder? Now, whether it's a pepper grinder or an electrical toilet something or Big Bertha or Harry Dan, I don't know. Uh, no offense if your name is Big Bertha or Harry Dan, but it doesn't matter. What we need to do is organize the question in such a way that we can clearly see um, the end from the beginning. And so that we can see a pathway, a, a way of thinking. That's why I always encourage the grasp method. So G, first write down what is given, and I've done that in purple. In the question, it says 80 amps and 120 volts. So therefore, it doesn't matter that it's an electrical pepper grinder or who it is. We know what is given in the question. There's nothing else assumed. That's the information that we have. R equals required. So what is required? The question says, what is the power rating of the pepper grinder? So P equals question mark. And so, again, we're given that formula so we don't have to cover P and see that it's I b beside V, but we could do that if we needed to. Um, but seeing how we don't, uh, all we would need to do is write down the formula, which is P equals I times V. All right? Now that we have the formula and we don't need to analyze it or manipulate it because the question mark is already being solved for here, the P is already being solved in this equation, the only thing we have left to do is get my green pen here of fanciness and solve the problem by substituting, right? We need to take these, uh, take this, the information given and substitute it into the formula. So P equals I times V. So P equals 80, 80 amps, yeah, and we multiply that by the 120 volts. Excellent. And when we uh, do some mental math or plug it into our calculator, 9,600, and what is the units? Well, we already wrote it down because we're super smart, watts. Also, make sure you write down your units every time you get a chance. It's just good habits. Now, it might be possible that you are needing to convert this into or show your answer in significant digits or scientific notation or or you might even need to uh, you might be asked uh, I want this in uh, kilowatts well then you would have to convert this to kilowatts right which of course quickly speaking is 9.6 kilowatts and if you were doing significant digits well this answers that but if you don't know what that is it doesn't matter here's a great simple simple example of, of, um, 
of calculating power. So I hope it helps.